from Lindawa High School. This is the Morning Roar with anchors Basante Bundy and Quentin Baker. Meteorologist Carlos Coleman and the 411 with Carlos Coleman. Good morning, LHS. Pasante Bundy, welcome to today's broadcast on Morning Roar. I'm Quentin Baker, and today is Tuesday, April 21st. Our greatest little love, you should make your hope and your love. National Honor Society members are available to the youth in the library every Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday from 25 to 310. We've got spirit, yes we do, we've got spirit. How about you? There will be a cheerleading interest meeting today at 2.30 p.m. in C-104. Little club members should turn in their t-shirt money and form to Mr. Callow or Mr. Morgan as soon as possible. Also, there will be a meeting on April 23rd and will meet to a one directly after school. All members should attend. Attention students, we are in a state of emergency with our community service hours here at Lindenwall High School. As of April 17th, only 22%, that's only 119 students in this entire building have turned in their community service hour form so far this year. You must earn 10 hours of community service every year in order to move on to the next grade or graduate. Here's what you need to do. Pick up a community service form from the main office, complete a community service hour activity, have the person in charge of the activity sign your form, finish filling out the form, turn it in to Ms. Martin, the assistant principal in the main office, and repeat this process until you have earned 10 hours of community service. If you have any questions, please see your coach, advisor, teachers, counselor, or Ms. Martin. The Hispanic Culture Club is having a meeting today, Tuesday, April 22nd, immediately after school, room E-104. Be there. Now it's weather time. We'll go to our meteorologist. Good morning, LHS. I'm Carlos Gomez, and I'm here with today's forecast. Today, we'll have a cloudy day with the high of 67 and the low of 48 and winds coming from the west at 15 miles per hour. Now let's take a look at the 5 day forecast. On Wednesday, we'll have thunderstorms with temperatures at a high of 65 and a low of 43. On Thursday, we'll have mostly sunny skies with a high of 57 and a low of 38. On Friday, we'll have partly cloudy skies and a high of 57 and a low of 39. On Saturday, we'll have mostly sunny skies with the high of 56 and the low of 39. Last but not least, we'll wrap up our Friday forecast with Sunday. We'll have partly cloudy skies with a high of 61 and a low of 41. Now please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, and indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I'm Carlos Coleman, and I'm back with your 411. It's that time again for another For Real Moment brought to you by Mr. Flick's Community Spotlight Class. For real? Do you know what sex was the first to cheer? No, surprisingly enough, it wasn't the females. The males are the first cheerleaders. Cheerleading first began at Princeton University as early as 1877 with their Princeton cheer. Hurrah, 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 tigers. Boom, ah. In the 1960s, NFL teams got their own pro cheerleaders. Females this time, of course. During high school cheerleading, there are usually two squads, a varsity and a junior varsity. When it's halftime, the teams from both schools come out to the middle of the field and do their routine. Cheerleaders are put in divisions, determined on their age. There's tiny, mini, youth, junior, junior international, junior co-ed, senior, senior co-ed, special needs, and open international. In the 1980s, all-star cheerleading competitions began to emerge. Teams Teams from all around competed against their divisions. We have our own all-star team right here in Lindenwall. This has been your For Real Moment. For real? I'm Vasante Bundy. And I'm Quentin Baker. You stay classy, Lindenwall. Thank you for watching today's telecast of the Morning Roar. This show is produced by the students of LHS TV. Watch this and other shows at LHSTV.com.